when you start doing this i promise you you're gonna be energized you're gonna be happy you're gonna be joyful whatever business you run or planning to start don't make the same mistake i've done and countless other people are doing right now the mistake is not defining who you serve and what problems you solve. It's such a simple thing and still people go into business, they invest a lot of time, money, effort without knowing these fundamental things. And I've done the same. I thought that, yeah, you just go and, and you try out different stuff and then you just miraculously succeed. But if you don't know who you serve or what problem you solve, how can you market? How can you build a product? How can you find those people? And this is the fundamental thing of any business, especially my target is spiritual and kind of well-being, health, people let's say you're a consciousness expander or something like a coach like that who helps people raise their their consciousness and awareness levels if you don't know who you're gonna do it for how can they know it's meant for them and i know yeah this this thing can work for everyone it's like yeah this is universal it will work for anyone i don't doubt it i think it's probably yeah it can work the problem is that you don't have enough leverage, you don't have enough followers, you don't have enough connections to be that big. And this is why if you're starting out or if you even have like a small business that's already running, the better you can focus which type of people, what kind of people you serve, the better you can serve them. This is such a common problem because it's actually kind of difficult and it's it's scary to choose it's like yeah but if i choose now then i might leave money on the table there or what if i don't like that or or something like that it's not the final destination it's the starting point it's the the specific who you can start helping and once you target it's it's called your niche once you go really specific and you find those people and you help those people once you have more results and you have more leverage and you have more connections and you're better known then you can start branching out the mistake that a lot of beginners that I've also done is comparing yourself to the big players because the big players have wide nets they have these broad nets but it's only because they're big players. So there's no point in comparing yourself to some like Robin Schwarma or Alex Hormozzi or even like Joe Dispenza. It doesn't resonate if you try to be like them. They also started somewhere very niche and then they kind of grew from there. The most simple thing that you can do and that you need is this thing called an elevator pitch it's a phrase an explanation of what you do who you do it for and what problems you solve and if you can do this and it, it and rehearse it that it's automatic you can tell what you do to anyone at any time in any place it's basically i help target audience solve their problem who have the desire to achieve this and for me it's i help purposeful online entrepreneurs who have a big heart who really want to see a change in the world to the positive and they don't know exactly how to package their knowledge and skill and experience they already have skills and experiences from the offline world but they don't know how to package it into something in the online world to get more leverage 
to get more freedom and more potential for the future. The next step in this, when you have this whole thing clear, then you share a story, a case study. Okay, I have helped this and this person who had the similar problem and this is how we did it. If you want the same, this is how we do it. And then you plug your service and how the structure is and your way of doing stuff and so on. And for me, that would be, I've helped a meditation teacher who had a similar issue with making it online and kind of getting the leverage that she sees in her head. And I've helped her build a successful YouTube channel and the coaching service that we are now scaling. If you want to do the same, you can schedule a call, link in description box down there, and we can see how we vibe. I work three to six months coaching services to really see a big transformation in your business and brand. I know I could even refine it more, but you get the point. And especially when you build your website, you build your social media presence. If you have the same messaging across all the platforms and you're clear, okay, this is for this age group, this kind of people, these people with this kind of values, that's when the messaging starts to resonate with them. Because all business and kind of money is based on trust. You need to have the trust thing dialed in. If people don't trust you, they won't buy from you. This is why when you start understanding your audience, you start understanding, oh, they struggle with these kind of things. And you've maybe struggled with the same. You've come up, so, come up with solutions to your own problems and you've solved them and now you've packaged them so you can help other people. That's a really normal way of, of doing business and building businesses because then you know that it's a real problem. You've had that problem. Okay, there needs to be other people who also have that problem. Okay, where can you find those people? I think a lot of people who start building online and they start building a personal brand and, and something, they don't think thoroughly, and I've done the same mistake. You don't think thoroughly, who am I here to serve? And where are they? Are they online? And you can take service. You can, you can even ask ChatGPT, like, okay, my ideal client is a 45 year old housewife who live in America and uh, she's divorced and, and you can come up with the, the rest of the story. Where is she online? Well, probably Facebook, like from my experience. So there's no point in building a brand on YouTube for that particular client if that particular client isn't on YouTube. And this is where like statistics and, and you can go and look up like these different age groups and, and, uh, and different type of people. But the point here is that you need to be able to answer these questions. And most people don't want to answer these questions. They, they want to live in the illusion. They don't want to do the hard work because it's really difficult to do it alone. And, and this is why, like, I think if you don't have anyone to talk to, you need to hire a coach. If you have some friends who are doing business, you can kind of have the consultation with them. That's really good. And you really need to have someone to bounce ideas off. Otherwise, my suggestion is like find the coach. I don't say you need to work with me. I say you need to find someone who resonates with you and that you trust and that you believe in that can help your situation. Because one of the hardest things for human beings is to see ourselves. Like the self-awareness part. Self-awareness is how good you are at seeing yourself from the outside perspective. Self-consciousness is the inside perspective. So th there's a clear definition here. Once you understand that every business, every brand is 
based on the outside. The outside needs the help. The outside needs your information and solutions. And if you only think about yourself, it's not going to work because people can sense that. They're like, okay, this coach is just so full of himself. I don't want to work with him. I want to work with someone who cares about me. And once you understand that, that you need to kind of put the, the client first and be like, oh, you need this. Okay, I try my best as a coach to understand what struggles the clients have. And in my experiences, it's mostly about defining this exact problem and creating clarity on what to actually invest time, money and energy on to kind of get this whole snowball rolling. Because once you get the fundamentals right, then it, it kind of starts rolling on its own. And then you build an awesome product. Then you have people talking about you. And, and that's still the best way of marketing is the word of mouth. So once you have these fundamentals locked in and you can really provide for your clients, that's when the real progress starts to happen. It's not about how good you are at selling, how good you are at marketing. It's about how well you can solve someone's problem and how good the transformation is from A to B. If you change someone's life, they are probably gonna start talking about it. They're, they're gonna be like, shit, I didn't believe in myself. It's amazing how much I've changed in the last six months because I work with this person. That's how businesses are built. It's not about learning. Now I need to learn this psychology sales and, and I just need to sell more. I need to talk to more people and, and kind of just get myself into the 10K month game. That's not how you build a sustainable business. It's about solving problems for people you actually care about. And this is why my mentality is to only work and build a business that you're passionate about and that you feel that there's a purpose behind. And once you get that, it's gonna be easier because let's be honest, like any business building is not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. It's gonna take time because building trust and reputation takes time. And if you go and build an online business just because of money, you're probably gonna be disappointed at some time and uh, then you're gonna quit because if, if your heart isn't with you building something, it, it won't work in the long run because real success takes at least like five to 10 years. So imagine what do you want to be doing in let's say five or 10 or 20 years? What are the things that you're going to be proud of and be like, yeah, I was, I was involved in that movement, that transformation. And this is when you start finding what you are here to do. When you think, okay, what kind of people do you actually want to be surrounded with? And okay, what kind of problems do they have? Okay, what kind of solution, unique solution can you come up with for them? And why would they choose you? Why would they choose you now? Answer these questions and that's when things start to happen. And if you ask me why you should choose me and why now, it's because I go deep. I go deep into who you are. We go through your human design, how you're actually built, how your aura energy type is. We go into your dreams, desires, and we uncover all these things before we build a landing page, build a more content or anything. It's about taking a few steps back and then 
kind of reevaluating okay is this really something that your heart is in is this really something that you want to do for a long period of time and are these people that you think that you're targeting are these the people you actually want to work with spend time with change energy with once we uncover all that then it's more about okay what type of content do you create which platforms do you go on what, is it gonna be writing is it gonna be video and and that's also your preference what kind of lifestyle do you actually want to live when we align all these things you can actually start building your dream life and your dream business when you start doing this i promise you you're gonna be energized you're gonna be happy you're gonna be joyful that will translate into your job also people can feel it it's like grandma's cooking you know because she loves the kids that she's cooking for so she puts so much love into that food that it just tastes magical and this is what happens when you work with passion and purpose and you're just like wow like i get goosebumps from just talking about this because i know that's a sign that it's like i'm excited this is what lights me up when I talk about excitement and passion and be like, yeah, if I can help package people's kind of this feeling and I can get this out of people, that's the best win for me because I'm in human design, I'm the projector. So I'm here to be the guide. I'm here to see the potential in other people. It's what I'm built for. And I've done it all my life. I've helped so many friends. I've helped like my colleagues at work, different workplaces I've had, like family members. That's like people come to me to ask for advice and that's what lights me up. If you want to be in this kind of energy and you want to get like my unique visions for you, as I said, please schedule a, a vibe check call because I only work with I, I cap it at five people at the moment. So just because I don't want to drain my energy and, and uh, like just take too much on. So schedule a call and, and let's see how we vibe and, and if I'm actually the, the right fit to, to help you. And I, I still want to go into to the marketing thing a little bit because when you choose who you want to work with and, and you you study, okay, they, people have these kind of problems. You talk with similar people that are in this category. And then you start marketing. And I want to touch on these five levels of marketing. And, and the, the fifth level is the unaware level. These are people who, who don't know about you, your solutions or your problems or anything. They're just like they don't know then comes the problem aware they're problem aware so they know that there is a problem uh let's say oh yeah i don't know how to market i don't know how to build a business they know that okay there's a problem then comes uh problem aware and solution aware they know that there is this problem that how to build a business i don't know but then they know oh i can go and find a coach online and or buy a course or something like that and they can teach me how to get that number two is they're aware of the problem the solutions and that you have that solutions these are the people who are likely to buy from you they might buy from you okay because they know that, oh, the, he got that solution. And this is like where you're right now. Now you've got, gained awareness that I have a solution for this, what I've talked about in this video. And then number one is most aware. That's when people are like, I'm ready to buy. I, I, can't, I want to buy from this guy. I have my credit card ready. I have the money. I'm not, 
like I'm just on the fence and number one and number two are the people who needs least amount of pushing and marketing so usually most of the marketing should be to number three and number four and sometimes number five to kind of get new people into into the whole world of, of let's say they're unaware that they could be healthier and then if you present them with a solution they they kind of go and, and you can take someone like all these levels up to number one in a uh, in a moment but most likely your customers will come from level four level three and then they stay at at, at level two and then they go to level one and then buy so this was uh, a little bit of, of just marketing advice once you know who you solve what problem you solve and what the desired outcome is this is so simple it's not about the tactics it's not about getting followers it's about actual humans solving problems for other humans if you don't solve a problem for another human don't go into business it's a, nobody's gonna pay you it's 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 not gonna work and even you might say that yeah so why do like coca-cola sell drinks it's not like solving a problem but it's actually solving a problem. It's solving people's cravings. It's solving people's desires to have a refreshment, have a really nice drink. And yeah, of course, there's the, the other side, the, the, the long-term outcome of drinking that is not gonna be positive. And that's why I'm here. I don't wanna bring those kind of businesses to life. I wanna bring businesses to life that actually help the humanity and that makes people more healthy makes them more self-aware makes them like the mental health improvements that's what sparks my interest and and also because i love this planet i love nature i love animals but it doesn't help if I try to solve the nature problems. I need to help solve people's problems because if people feel better and they kind of love themselves more and love their life more, they're gonna make better decisions. And this is kind of how we raise the level of consciousness and we raise the level of awareness to a better place because the key is in the people. and we all have the power to change the world and it usually starts with voting with our money and our decisions in our daily life because that's what's really impactful and important i really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video i hope you got something out of it my name is Mitz. Please subscribe to my channel if you felt that it was helpful. There's going to be more of this. Kind of going into the, the spiritual business route, the health route. That's what I'm here to do. And I think a lot of uh, people with good intentions and people who have like really beneficial things those things aren't really the most popular ones and I want to help bring awareness and, and build impactful brands that really help this world and uh, so that our future generations will have this beautiful natural world that I've gotten to experience in my short time of life. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace out. Stay cool.